Let not the leaves of first summer fall in vain. Let not the bud's beauty wilt before its blooming spectacle. Let not blue skies juvenile cloud over before an August rain, nor burn too soon the work of lame Hephaestus. Unexceptional anvilled chassis, the basis of Apollo's pruning. Chiron on the winding road leading through the gated abbey. And now the winter turns to spring, seeds become our stalks. Dion sleeps on a bed of stone, draped in petals freshly plucked. Noon has risen to shine her beauty and bid adieu to the morning dew. Her loving rays give birth and warms away the fresh and welcoming of these early hours. The poet's role is not to rhyme, it is not to enjambe or write lyrically, not to capitalize, grammarize, or even spell correctly. The poet's role is to capture humanity's soul. History passed by in a blink but forever held in the poet's ink. To rouse and to soothe, romanticize and fantasize. To love and smile and frown and curse and hate. They may use tools and train to heighten the words they speak, but that is not the poet's role. Do not get carried away. But carry away. As I lay here with discontented heart and restless mind once more in the early hours morn belonging to the poets and painters, philosophers and deep thinkers, the lovers and the loners, my soul cries out for beauty, be it from within me or out amongst the glimmering stars beyond my window. I think quietly of my life's problems, mistakes and missions, my life's loves and its undeniable hates. All I want to do now is write. My body must rest, but my brain fights. Tis now the creative hour. The time our souls leap out from their cages of fleshy carcass and sweep up gloriously into the night sky, fondly frolicking with one another, creating starry joyful madness, never to be witnessed by the sleeping mortal. Oh, the elation of such feisty supernatural festivities, swirling and swirling, refusing to leave the spectral world to conjoin with the flesh and bones of their mortal master. But all too soon sunrise doth come, and whilst the artists finally start drifting off into deep sleep, unwittingly enjoying their genius's good time, the regular world must shift back into consciousness to keep the world spinning in its regular routine. A seagull stole my life, soaring high with wings wide. A fucking seagull stole my life. Sitting hunched over, back broken from shingle, shoveling, concrete, mixing aches and pains, rain. Destined writer, explorer turned bruise bather, but at least I have jazz. Sweat on brow, hammer, hit, slab, tramontane. Living between treadmill pillars, 
up and down and soaring wild, free from strain, this seagull acts as a prince of skies, living life and stares at me, razzmatazz, roaming to and fro, killing me with its smug, laugh-like gulling. Soaring high with wings wide, a seagull stole my life. Raindrops were dripping, the clouds swept high, he stormed out the door, if he stayed, he would die. Through soggy marsh fields of damp and green, he popped his collar, not wanting to be seen. Not a word of goodbye, not even a note. So walked the poet in the long dark coat. Nobody had seen him lurking around, not even a glimpse, he didn't want to be found. He was lost in his thoughts as he looked to the sky, and he wondered if the world was even alive. Painting pictures with words of his own, rambled on, did the poet in the long dark coat. He roamed as he pleased, from town over town, harmonica on mouth playing a sweet, sorrowed sound, for he'd seen that the world was all bark and no bite. And then, from afar did he meet her sparkled eye as she stood in white, having read the words he'd wrote. She gave her heart to the poet in the long dark coat. But it wasn't enough to get him to stay, so she wailed at him and he went on his way. And was this all that the world would be so willing to show as they called for the poet in the long dark coat. And he answered their call without even a thought, for they'd taken the beauty he had so eagerly sought. They'd already shown him that they just didn't care. It was all over now. He just wasn't there. And he raised his gun with a single stroke. So flew did the poet in the long dark coat. A bird on each branch, eggs dropped, broken nests. Your arms aren't made for homes, just plenty of thin leaves, just plenty of leaves. Oak tree replaced by birch, we were supposed to be two, but a pairing cut down too soon, a fuel a fire. We weren't ever meant to be close to one another. Winter, barren branches can't provide shade. Trees stand tall, don't they? Unmoving and stubborn. But summer will come again, the roots will keep me going, I won't die. I'll keep growing, as tall as you, and maybe farther. He threw closed his slept-in blazer to keep him from the fierce cold air, lifting his collar, fixing his hat and hair. Igniting a smoke, he passed through Leicester Square without a care, ignoring the stairs, taking a dirty drag. Heading through Soho, so low, feeling so low, he made his way for Carnaby Street, going so slow, London streets beneath his feet. He stood on the lamp-lit pavement corner and watched the street walkers, club promoters and dirty drooling lurkers. Taking his final drag, he flicked the smoke into the road and continued on his way. Two lovely ladies headed his way, locked arms they approached, smiling. He tipped his hat as they pushed by, looking him up and down, winky wink. Finally he stood outside, ain't nothing but. He smiled in front of the lights, winked at the bouncer who knew him, 
And then he strut in. He sat in the farthest most corner as the sax wailed, veiled by his fedora hat, watching as folks frolicked and bailed, a cesspool of sweaty hormones and writhing muscles. That's the blues. It gets them going. He sipped his whiskey and enjoyed the band, smiling as the keyboard player trailed. And as the night grew, he swayed to and fro, forgetting he'd felt so low, enjoying the curvaceous tight jeans and wild thick curls. He downed his whiskey dregs and walked out his favourite bar, leaving behind declined lusting blondes, burning loins, Carnaby Street beneath his feet once more. He walked over girls drunkenly weeping on the curb, ignoring the mentally disturbed and drunkenly absurd London baby. Pathetic swaying brawls between friendly fools, smiling amused, for he noticed neither had the bigger balls. They're equally shriveled and small, he called amusedly. And before he could end his nightly crawl, the full moon called. Succumbing to the ladies of the night, with ripped fish nets, Tights and a loving disconnect, weakening his resolve, forgetting his haunting regrets. Taking her for a neat in a Soho dive down Carnaby Drive, he slapped twenty Adam Smiths on the bar just to feel beneath her skirt and bra. It's a solo night in Soho, YOLO. Fighting his extinguished inner glow, Black Raven, actual crow, she asked for more to take it further, but he simply dribbled. Sorry, love, but I've got to go. Her eyes look left and right, but never straight. Constellations that shine soft, yet always bright. Gentle spoken poems from tended page, a grace she holds beyond the words she types. She came to me, as waves do the shore, for kindred hearts seek single boats at sea. Nature plucked her strings and played her score as two poets danced to Cupid's spree. Though distanced are we by global pandemic, Dates confined to DMs in a Netflix movie. So soon I'll set sail across the Atlantic to gaze upon the face of true beauty. She came to me as waves do the shore. And now she'll stay in memory evermore. A thousand miles and more away she waits, sorrowed calls as the saddened owl at night. A thousand miles and more away he aches, heart bursting through a nightmare lullaby. Our lines, still strings plucked straight from the heart as each new verse we further to heaven. Stubborn land and sea do keep us apart but rest. My soul resides now in Princeton. Stands at bridge and fragranced envelopes Can't mask our thirst of touch Like the pansies to ether's eye Our hearts jailed in a dingy cell alone Bail set at an astronomical high If I could hold you for just a deep breath I'd drop it all and... We boarded the same train, didn't know where to. But now I know I'm coming home, coming home to you. Seats don't come cheap these days, and they said mine the gap or we'd fall. On these rails of steel, the whole world seems so small. Doesn't matter how we're parted, half the fun is in the view but always coming back to where we started when I'm coming home, 
coming home to you. Dated tickets ablaze passing by the window, old flames burn dull, paper-cut hearts left to ash on the platform, but we'll be stronger than we were before. Sparks fly under our feet, taking our time so we last forever. Stay in the sleeping car tonight. Home is good, but the journey is better. The tracks can get tough, but we always pull through. Because I know I'm coming home. Coming home to you. Slowly sinking like the setting sun. I'm sorry to say, but uh, I'm officially done. It's time to hang up my mask, time to find myself a different task. Time to drop my pen. On the paper it lays, silent and still. The dust shall encase my fingers and emotion as I seek solitude in a secret location. Failure that has encompassed me as success finds he. Of course, pride and joy I send to him, but what motivates me has worn thin. I have been entrapped by the firm talons of the establishment, and despite my faux encouragement and my gallivant efforts, I am stuck in a routine mismanagement of emotions, pain. My world has crumbled. The day will come when the light subsides and unspent turmoil will leave an empty bay. For even calm waters, they bear rough tides. Behind the drapes hang her lies, a gleaming smile but now to say. The day will come when the light subsides. Innocence glitters within soft eyes, spite poison fang retracted, ne'er displayed, for even calm waters, they bear rough tides. Framed portrait hung, bedside devotion amplified, but pride of place too long soon paints their stabbing disdain. The day will come when the light subsides. Collected silence in time sees vengeful rise as darkened clouds replace the summer's day. For even calm waters they bear rough tides. Failing love and a forgotten blindside, fools hope drinks to Groundhog Day. The day will come when the light subsides. For even calm waters they bear rough tides.